Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John. Papa John's. Better people, better pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Papa John's. When you hear it, what do you think of? Pizza? Camaro? Or something else? When I hear Papa John's, I think of better ingredients and better pizza. But does Papa John's really have better ingredients and pizza? We'll talk about that later. But for now, let's look at a background. It all started when a man named John, I can't pronounce his name, got a job at a pizza place called Rockies in Jefferson, Indiana. He was happy to work there. However, he felt something was missing. A good pizza delivered with a smile to the customer's door. So he decided to take matters into his own hands. He decided to open his own pizza joint. It all started after high school. He went to Ball State University while working there at another pizza place called Greeks. Once he graduated, he learned that his father's business was struggling. Talk about good news and bad news. Hey dad, I graduated. Good job, son. Oh, my business is downhill. To save his dad's business, he sold his prized Cameo 720. And in tiny step after tiny step, Papa John's was born. For 26 years, Papa John's has been selling great pizzas. Well, at least that's what I think. Some other people say my Pizza Hut is the best company ever, or Domino's, or Little Caesars. Also, how do people encounter Papa John's? Well, people, this is what interviews are for. Uh, my first experience with uh, Papa John's was like, I didn't even know, you know? Like one time, I was like six years old, and my mom brought home a box of pizza, and you know, she told me to eat, so I ate a piece, and it was real good, you know, I was just like, dang, I gotta have some more. I didn't, I, like, I never knew, you know, how good it was until I tried it, you know? Well, I think Papa John's Pizza is glorious. The first time I ever had it, uh, it's kind of hard to remember, I was pretty young, but I just remember the taste and, like, the, the texture is just so perfect, you know, like, just good, it, it really is good. I, uh... I don't mind Papa John's, but it's not necessarily my favorite pizza. But I tell you, the one thing that I do like about Papa John's that no other pizza place does, they put those little peppers, those little pepperoncinis, they put like two of them in a box. And I love those because that really kind of like, when you take a bite of pizza, you take a bite of the pepperoncini thing, it's, uh, it's, in, it's like a party in your mouth. Apparently their reviews are mixed. Papa John's is good, but only with the sides. Those pepper things that one of them mentioned, I throw them away when I get the pizza. All I care about is the pizza. As for other pizza joints, well, they all taste the same to me. Papa John's is the only one that has a different taste to me. But when you have good pizza, you have good promotions and sponsors. Papa John's does semi-good. We did get the movie Ice Age to sponsor them around the time it came out, the first one. Introducing the Mammoth Pizza Meal from Papa John's. Get a large one-topping pizza and Papa's chicken strips with a free 2 liter of Coke, all for only $13.99. However, Pizza Hut did once have themed toys that came with the kids' meals, kind of like McDonald's. But from what I heard, they don't do that anymore. But Papa John's has the NFL, ESPN, Peyton Manning, and Six Flags as sponsors. Papa John's once made a Hot Wheel miniature cameo to sell. <laughs> Eat your pizza, Pizza Hut. Wonder who sponsors Domino's. Pokemon. Pokemon! Nice try, Domino's. You're not getting my support. I'm Papa John's all the way. But why am I? Tell the truth, I was once on Domino's side. But not anymore. It all started at my stepmom's grandma's Christmas party. She said we were gonna order pizza. I thought, pizza? Oh boy, I hope they get Domino's. To my disappointment, she brought me Papa John's. I sadly started to eat the pizza, and my taste buds exploded. I fell in love with the pizza, and I think. John for making such good pizzas. From then on, every Friday I got Papa John's, extra cheese pizza, hand tossed crust, a Coke, and free time on the computer. The works. It all started with a Camaro. What happened after the old Camaro after he sold it? Well, in 2009, he started looking for it again, saying he'd pay a large amount of money to buy it back. But on August 26, 2009, he finally got reunited with his car. In celebration, he offered free pizza to anyone who owned a Camaro. The car is now on display at the Papa John's headquarters. They have made replicas for TVs and tours. 
But now and then, John uses his camera to deliver pizzas. But things were not always happy ding-dongs for John. In 1997, Pizza Hut sued Papa John's for their slogan, Better Ingredients, Better Pizza. They said it was not absolutely true. In 2000, the trial ended with Papa John's winning because rules didn't say anything about having an opinion-based slogan. Judge, Papa John's slogan is opinion-based. Pizza Hut, stop being a tattletale. Papa John's has the right to have any slogan he wants. <laughs> There's also people complaining that Papa John's is cutting health care benefits for people who work there because of Obamacare. Hello? A lot of other businesses are doing this too. <laughs> Internet. Speaking to people who work there, what do the employees think of Papa John's? And do they think the better ingredients and better pizza slogan is true? Absolutely. Everything's fresh all the way down to the sauce. They pick the sauce one time a year, so it's fresh, freshly picked and, and canned. Why did they choose to work at Papa John's? It's a really good company to work for, and uh, I like what I'm doing. Do they enjoy working there? I do, a lot. Nice working with the customers. How do they compare Papa John's to other pizza chains? Uh, better ingredients, everything's fresh. The dough's fresh. Just a very good pizza. And what is their favorite pizza to make? Uh, chicken barbecue. Sadly, I didn't get to interview John himself. But I did find a video of him telling his life story. When I was growing up as a boy, my mentor was my papa, uh, Lewis Ackerson. And uh, he had a fanaticism of doing things in a high-class manner. When I founded Papa John's, the whole premise in the Genesis was, let's make the best pizza possible. Let's be the best in our class. Let's be the highest quality. All the bigger competitors at one time started out with quality, and they all lost their way. And so one of our fundamental beliefs from the get-go was we were going to be a family-run, independent pizzeria, no matter how big we got. If you still don't believe in that Papa John's is amazing, get this. It was rated number one in customer satisfaction in 2012, named the 2011 Pizza Chain of the Year, and won the same award in 2006. I don't care if people don't like Papa John's. To me, Papa John's will always have better ingredients and pizza. Not to mention, to help the world hunger, they donated pizzas to people who need food. So Papa John's is partnering with our friends at Party City and the taste of the NFL, the National Football League, and we're donating over 30,000 pizzas to help feed America's hungry. Keep it the good word, Papa John's. Wherever you go, it's pizza hello. Don't touch my pizza! Uh. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Don't touch my pizza!